rugby day! Saturday is 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 rugby day! Hello, Shoreline Spartans, along with the entire rugby community who may be watching this. My name is Stephen Early, and I am a rugby enthusiast. Actively competing for 10 years and coaching along with refereeing for five. I've served as the Sir on the high school, collegiate, and men's level. I've primarily coached on the collegiate level, although I have made many appearances on the youth, high school, and men's level, and had the opportunity to compete throughout the entire East Coast, from the NOLA Gold before they turned pro, to St. Petersburg Pelicans in Florida, and throughout Connecticut and Long Island. Most notably, I've been selected to the All-State team three separate occasions and played on the Premier 7 side. I am a New London Whaler, and I most likely will retire a Whaler. But you never know what life brings you. And in this time, I have become extremely knowledgeable in a handful of positions, including the scrum half position. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's begin. Scrum half. What's a scrum half? Let's start with the number on their back. They wear nine, and their main role is to serve as a link between the forwards, that's the big guys, and the backs, that's the fast guys. Occasionally, you know, you'll get a fast forward and you'll get a slow back, but that's not about them. It's about the scrum half. What else do they do? They control tempo. They do that alongside the fly half. It's the Scrum half's main job to control fluidity within the match, ensuring everyone gets to their places, serving as a leader for people to look up to when things are breaking down, exposing the opposition for their weaknesses, and capitalizing. With all those responsibilities, their skills must be extremely diverse. Having the ability to pass with both hands, making different types of passes, pop passes, long passes, Diving passes are super important. The ability to kick off of both feet, different types of kicks, pop kick, deep kicks, up and under kicks, and rubber kicks. Undoubtedly though, the most important trait of a scrum half is their brain. The ability to understand the game, to understand different roles, supply the team with what they need, changing tempo, Seeing the other team and exploiting their weaknesses are all important traits of an effective scrum half. Scrum halves are opportunists. They'll see something happen on the field before anyone else, and they will act accordingly. They are confident. They never back down. And they are controlled. With everybody looking at them and relying on them, they must make the best decision they can make all the time. Undoubtedly, though, they do make mistakes, but it's not the mistakes they make, it's how they respond to the mistakes, which define the scrum half. These scrum halves can be found anywhere on the pitch that there is a breakdown. They are the most fit players. So if a team likes to go sideline to sideline, you will see the scrum half trailing behind, waiting to insert themselves. They might also instruct another player to do so. This is in their nature. During a lineout, they are five meters back, waiting to receive the ball. In a kickoff, they could either be kicking or they can be found somewhere between their fly half and their eight. In a scrum down, they're lining up to put the ball in the middle so their forwards can win possession of the ball. Take a guess of what position in the NBA, which reminds me a lot like the scrum half position. Take a moment and pause, think about it. And then press play. Welcome back. The scrum half and the point guard position are both very similar in my interpretation. Both positions require the player, the competitor, to have a strong IQ of the sport, to have diverse skills, and have the ability to lead their team to be a successful unit. In my experience as a scrum half, I've always found changing it up has been most effective. You have to understand what you're working with. That means your team, your opponents, and your own skills. But testing the waters throughout every match and every practice, you'll be able to develop yourself and your team in ways that you probably haven't imagined yet. So if you haven't tried that kick, 
give it a try. If you haven't tried that pass, give it a try. If you think you're running with the ball too much, start passing. If you pass a lot, start running with it. From there, you'll be able to change the game yourself to expand how you and your team competes. So how do you train? Well, first you need a rugby ball. And if you can find a tire, that would be really beneficial. So with the tire, you can throw the ball into the tire from 5 meters out, 10 meters out, 15 meters out. You can practice one-hand passes, two-hand passes, no-spin passes, and even diving passes into the tire. That will greatly help your skill development in passing. If you don't have a tire, you can always throw the ball up and work on your spin. You can do that starting off with two hands, then you can do it with one hand. You can do it a few times in one hand, you can alternate hands, and you just have to be creative when you're trying to develop your skill. If you have a partner, you could run different angles, you can try these skills that you practice at different speeds. Changing it up like that will greatly change your ability to execute the mechanics that you're practicing. And that's most important, because if you don't try it at different speeds and in different settings and practice, it's going to be much harder to execute this during the match. So you're not a scrum half, and you did not want to watch this video. Well, maybe we could take this last piece on how we treat our scrum halves. On your team, you always protect your scrum half. Talk to your coach about how you can do this. It is the law of the land. The opposing scrum half, always try to attack them. If you can early on run at your opposing scrum half and get them uneasy, then they're going to have trouble executing on the offensive end for their team. And that will put you at a great advantage. And that is my take. Thank you for listening to my interpretation of the scrum half position. A special shout out to Coach Mike Meyer and the entire e-board. You are doing a fantastic job of developing youth rugby in the area. Best of luck. Go Spartans. Ha, 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 ha.